Hello Adventures, welcome back to Adventures by Kayla. Today what we're doing is the South Rim of the Grand Canyon. We've now done the North Rim, the East entrance is what is this one. Here's the shuttle buses, and here's Yavapi Lodge. Hit and beat it, hopefully. Hopefully we'll find something not too expensive, but you never know. Yavapi Lodge, Yavapi Gifts. Very lonely. Showing them down. So the dining hall is closed. Okay, so the tavern's open now. Come on, babes. Here's the menu. Yes, and you're so smart about it. It's just total random guess. I said chipmunk. I guess I'll have to go with the deer. Stony. Oh, Stony. I thought it said Wait, yeah. Wait, you said no about. Oh, Toast definitely, yes. It's a super, super small. Here's mm -hmm. that. Angel Lodge. Yeah, the shuttle bus stops all the way down here on the road. We gotta get on the red one. Here next to Bright Angel Lodge. You can park there, Bright Angel Lodge, and then walk on down. It's the red bus line. That's what we're looking for. You Bakley. Tell you to the fault line. Lines on the floor near the bus doors while the bus is in motion. The seats at the front of the bus There's are reserved nine. for people with disabilities and must be vacated for anyone in need of them. The bus will stop at nine scenic viewpoints on the way to Hermit's Rest, but we only make three stops on the return trip. Total time for the loop is approximately 80 minutes, not including the time you spend out enjoying the vistas. Here we are at Hermit's Rest. We all make you girl stuff. Yes. Look at this view, Bakley. What do you think? Pretty good. There are some tram. There's some bus lines. There's four different bus lines here at Grand Canyon. Now you have to ride the red one to see the Hermit's Rest part because private vehicles are not allowed. Um, so there's a bunch. There's nine different stuffs. So we pick some of your favorites. So we're gonna just do Hermit's Rest. I think at Pima Point, Mojave Point, and then walk down to Powell Point. Let's go check out Hermit's Rest. Wow. Look, there's a gift shop and snack stand and restrooms here. Wow, that's really cool in it, Bakley. Look at this weird looking squirrel. <laughs> He's a fat squirrel. Wow. That's awesome. That's awesome right there. <coughs> oh God, some praise his name. That's awesome. So amazing. Yeah. Are you still doing a lot? Oh. Okay, let's go over here. We got three minutes, guys, to go on the bus. So we're going. We have. On the bus. Here is the Hermit's Rest. Here 
here's how it goes on the way there. On the way back, it'll stop at Pima Point, Mojave Point, and Powell Point. So we went all the way out to Hermit's Rest, got out there. We were going to do Pima Point, but we kind of decided that we're just going to go ahead and skip that. Um, it's kind of looking the same. So we're going to stop here at Mojave Point, do that one, walk over to Hopi Point and do that, and then walk on to Powell Point before catching the bus back to the village to head out on our way. We have a whole lot of time and just like looking for stuff. You can either walk all that or bike a lot of it or stop at each of the points. Um, and we're not super, super crunched for time, but we've done so much and we do want to spend some time at the hotel because um, we do still have to drive to Sedona tonight, which is a two and a half hour drive. So, um, yep, yeah, so we'll go back to the village, grab our car, head out the south entrance on our way to Sedona. Came up point because I did not just stop out for, because all you'd be doing is stopping for a picture and then waiting for 10 to 15 minutes for a bus. So, there it is. Mojave Point is the second two-way stop. If you would like to travel to a rest on the bus, you may do so at this shuttle bus stop. Please gather all... So let's go check out Mojave Point. Mojave Point. Well, wow, because you don't have any service over there at Hermit's Rest. Okay. Come check us out, Katerine. Oh, hot crap. Okay. Oh, Becky, can, way down, ain't it? Hold Becky's hand so I can take. Come here, little dude. Wow. That That's a Colorado River, Kate. Then you see it? Well, what gorgeous is that? The dang thing. Crazy. <laughs> okay, so we're going to walk on over to Hopi Point. <laughs> yep. Let's go walk to Hopi Point. It's starting to rain, so. Yep. Hobby point definitely a stop. Oh. Careful. Hey, there's a bathroom at Powell Point, but that's not at Hopi Point next. It's wow. This is gorgeous, everybody. Like this is absolutely gorgeous. Hiking the South Rim Trail currently, and look at that, gorgeous. I know. Okay, let's go. I know. I'm not hiking back. Oh. Yeah, honey, don't gyrate like that. Just focus on your steps, okay? Okay. Thank you. You scared Daddy to death. Okay. Daddy keeps standing to lose his little back range. Careful here. There's no barrier. That's so pretty. That's so pretty. Welcome to Hopi Point. Wow. I wish we would walked the whole thing. We could have. It's really an easy walk. This is gorgeous. It's a it's a very easy walk. Yeah. There ain't nothing compared to what we've already hiked so far. I know. So Hopi Point is definitely not any 10 minute walk. Well, is this it? Yeah, got better than right? I can drive oh, Wow. There's still that Hopi. 
Wow. Gosh, look at that. There's Powell Point, finishing up the South Rim and finishing up the Grand Canyon. Well, I've been texting you where we were at. Did it come through to you? I was like, okay. Thank God my text come through. Well, that's why. There's the fire. Do you see it? Do you see it? Look across the rim. See the smoke? See, look across the rim. You can see the fire. Do you see it? Wow, I think so. Right, Daddy? Right. We have a big knockdown. Powell Point. Love it. Awesome. Thanks, Blakely. Let's <laughs> get that puddle as hard as good. <laughs> <laughs> Are you getting out on that? I gotta have that. You're getting out on that. Okay. Or I'd miss my pop. That's what I thought. But it was laying right here. Well, that's a good thing. It was good. Don't hate you missed the hike, but I doubt y'all would have done it anyway. Yeah, y'all probably wouldn't have done it, would you? You'd probably saw it. We saw it. And... We wouldn't have liked it. I don't think y'all done it. I think y'all would have went back to the bus stop. Well, I wouldn't have liked it watching y'all. I wasn't real crazy about the one that's hiking out there at the Powell Point. Oh my gosh. Now over here to the left, uh, it should be, after we go through this Ma Maswick Lodge, it should be the Mule Barn. So, see if you see it. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you'll see it or not. It should be on the left. I remember seeing it when it was here before, but I don't remember doing this. And how do you think? Yeah, here's the mule barn. Hey, look, girls, here's the mule barn for the mules here. Ride you down into the canyon. I don't think we're doing it right. To discover all I can about Grand Canyon National Park and to share my discoveries with everybody. And I pledge. To enjoy and protect Grand Canyon and all national parks. And I pledge to make my bed every day, to eat my vegetables, to be kind to my mom and dad forever, and to be kind to my planet Earth. And to never ever feed the squirrels. Never, never feed the squirrels. <laughs> the elk guys. Here. Now south rim. East and south really. I'll give it an eight. I don't like the shuttle thing. Like I'd rather just be able to drive out through there. I get why they're trying to do that, but it, I, I, it bothers me. And I don't like that the visitor center was closed. There's no call for that. The other north room wasn't closed. Why is south room closed? Like, that's just ridiculous. So, yeah, good eight, pretty, but pain in the butt. I'd say at nine, the south room, I still really enjoy our hike. Wish we could have done more hiking. Um, yeah, I felt like the whole first part of the day, that whole debacle of the visitor center, Oh, 
last day of the heat, it's like this. The north, I mean, it's, it's the same experience, except if you had to choose one, I'd still choose the south because I think the views are better. But the experience staying in the cabin and not seeing the North River before, even a little bit of an edge on this trip because I hadn't seen that side of the Yeah. Huh? been destroyed here. It has. They've washed all the dang stuff away that ain't broken. I it's seen those away. bags up out. Look what here. are they doing? Sandbags all alongside the the river. It's been running down this road. Not so fast, Pop Squeak. Holy Hannah. Look at all that. It. <laughs> 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 Looks like it's gonna be on the left. <laughs> you guys are killing me. Roundabout. God, oh, need, this is like East Ridge. Why do you need a roundabout? <laughs> <laughs> Who else is gonna come? And they show it. Let's go. One tenth of a mile. Oh, you are here. <laughs> There it is. It's very like uh, this whole thing. We see the bob over here. Yeah, it's a what is it? Pueblo. Pueblo. Yes, very Pueblo. There it is. Dad, you have to eat crow. As well, you I didn't say. eat crow. I didn't say it was not I just didn't see that. I well, get over there. There's nothing like starting off a day with a bang. Oh, just put the car right there. This is the road. Park the car. Leave it overnight. I thought that's all. This is neat. Look at this town. Yeah, it's Gatlinburg for Sedona. How do we get back? <laughs> There's like a fence. What do you do? You turn. You can pull off. Uh huh. We're here. We can't get back to it. Can't do that. Here we go. No use truck. Trucks over 50 feet. What's the problem? Have to do the roundabout up here and get back to it. <laughs> See? That a purpose? That's a purpose. So this is the end of their like little strip. That's interesting. There's a ton of people out here walking around. And yeah, they're sitting up here. <laughs> they're sitting there. They're sitting in the road. You're about going over one. You're supposed to stop and touch what Sean thinks of those hills. Yeah, this is neat. Did you ever think that was going to happen there, Dad? No. Oh, it's got time to walk the town. Look at them steps. Look at that block there. We're moving in our own orbit. I love it when they do their homework. I know we're moving, Steve. A child. But I drew Earth. Yes. <laughs> 
reminds me of what my old astronomy teacher I'm used to here. say. We are here. Um, thank you so much for watching. I will link down below my entire playlist of all of our videos from this trip. So please make sure you hit like and subscribe so you miss an episode. Um, and just comment down below what is your favorite location that we have been to. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. Be adventurous. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.